Hey guys, today is the first episode of a new series called Cocktail Desserts. In this series I make desserts inspired by signature cocktails and today we're going to start with a porn star martini. We're going to make a white chocolate mousse with a passion fruit gel, a vanilla crumble, a passion fruit cream, white chocolate decorations and a porn star martini sorbet. So, let's begin. First we're going to make some passion fruit juice for all the recipes. In total we need 600 grams of juice. Cut 2 kilograms of passion fruit in half and scrape out all the seeds on a bowl that's covered with a sieve. Now press all the juice out of the seeds using a ladle. You can also buy passion fruit juice, but I love using fresh fruits because most of the time they are a lot sweeter. Then we can start with the passion fruit cream. Mix 100 grams of passion fruit juice with 150 grams of cream, 50 grams of sugar, 20 grams of cornstarch, 50 grams of egg yolk, 2 cardamom seeds and 2 sprigs of tarragon. Now mix this well and then while stirring cook the cream till it has thickened. It needs to look like this. Then pass the cream through a fine sieve to remove the tarragon and the cardamom. Now cover it with foil and let it cool down in your fridge. After that mix it for 30 seconds and transfer it into a piping bag that's fitted with a small nozzle. Keep it in your fridge for later. Then for the porn star martini sorbet. Pour 300 grams of champagne into a saucepan and also add 60 grams of glucose, 140 grams of sugar and one empty vanilla pot. Now bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn off the heat and let it cool down completely out of the fridge. Then remove the vanilla pot and pour it on 300 grams of passion fruit juice. Also add 3 grams of stabilizer. I use Step 2000. Now blend this for 30 seconds and then let it rest in your fridge for at least 2 hours. Then pour it into an ice cream machine and turn it into a beautiful sorbet. It's best to serve the sorbet as soon as possible, but otherwise keep it in a freezer that's around minus 12 degrees celsius. Now for the passion fruit meringue. Mix 50 grams of passion fruit juice with 80 grams of sugar and heat this up till the temperature is 118 degrees celsius. Then pour 80 grams of egg white into a mixing bowl and start beating it. Once the white foam starts to form, add 60 grams of sugar to stabilize it. When the syrup has the right temperature, slowly pour it on the egg white and continue beating it till it's at room temperature. Then transfer it into a piping bag that's fitted with a small nozzle and pipe small dots on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet or parchment paper. Now let them dry at 60 degrees celsius for at least 3 hours. Then for the passion fruit and vanilla gel. Mix 150 grams of passion fruit juice with 60 grams of champagne, 50 grams of sugar and 3 grams of agar powder. Now cut half a vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add the seeds to the pan. The empty vanilla pot you can dry at 60 degrees celsius. Later on we use it for the crumble. Now mix the liquid well and bring it to a boil for one minute. Then pour it into a bowl and let it cool down completely in your fridge. After that transfer it into a blender and blend it till smooth. Now a little trick. I always vacuum my gels to make them clear and remove any air. This is optional. The gel will still be very good and delicious. But with this step you bring it to the next level. Then transfer it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the vanilla crumble. First blend the dried vanilla pot till it's a fine powder. You can also use vanilla sugar, but this is a great way to use leftover empty vanilla pots. Then mix 100 grams of almond powder with 100 grams of sugar, 70 grams of flour, the vanilla powder, 100 grams of butter, 2 grams of flaky salt and 40 grams of melted white chocolate. Now knead this till it's a firm dough. Then transfer it on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet and spread it. Now bake it at 160 degrees celsius for around 25 minutes. Mix it every 5 minutes to create a nice golden brown crumble. After that let it cool down and then keep it dry and covered for later. Now for the white chocolate brownie or blondie. Mix 100 grams of whole egg with 140 grams of sugar and beat it. Meanwhile melt 140 grams of butter on a low heat. Once it's melted add 140 grams of white chocolate and mix it well. Now when the eggs are fluffy, while mixing, add the chocolate ganache and fold this together. Then add 90 grams of flour and 1 gram of baking soda on a sieve and while folding add it to the batter. Now also add 3 grams of flaky salt and give it a final mix. Then cover the bottom of a baking tin with some parchment paper and add your batter. Bake it at 170 degrees celsius for around 30 minutes till golden brown. Then let it cool down completely out of the fridge. Now remove the parchment paper and portion the blondie to the desired size. I portion it into small cubes. Keep them covered in your fridge for later. Now for the white chocolate mousse. First soak 2 leaves or 3.3 grams of gelatin in cold water. 
Then mix 20 grams of water with 50 grams of sugar and heat this up till it's 118 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, start beating 90 grams of whole egg and when the syrup has reached the right temperature, slowly add it to the beaten egg. Now beat it till it's at room temperature. Meanwhile, pour 100 grams of cream into a saucepan and bring this to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn off the heat and dissolve the gelatin. Then add 180 grams of white chocolate and mix it. Set it aside for later. Now pour 200 grams of cream into a bowl and beat it till it has a thin yogurt consistency. Then add the beaten egg to the ganache and fold this together. After that add it to the cream and fold this together as well. Now fill the bottom of some cocktail glasses and then let it set in your fridge for a couple of hours. Be sure to cover them if you store them longer in your fridge. Then for the chocolate decorations. First melt some white chocolate till it's 45 degrees celsius. Now we need to temper it. For that pour 4 fifths on your worktop and while moving the chocolate cool it down till it's 28 degrees celsius. We temper the chocolate to create a perfect finished product with a beautiful shine and a hard snap. Then transfer it back into the bowl and mix it till the temperature is 30 degrees celsius. Now pour some on your worktop and use a pastry comb to create thin lines. Let it set for a minute or two and then use your scraper to create nice chocolate curls. Then let them set for a couple of minutes and keep them dry and covered for later. After that pour the remaining chocolate on the sheet and spread it. Then let it set for 2 minutes before cutting it with a big round cutter. Cover it with another sheet and put something flat on top to prevent the chocolate from curling up. Let it set out of the fridge for at least 1 hour and then keep them dry and covered for later. Then we can start to finish the dessert. First cover the chocolate mousse with some crumble and pipe the passion fruit cream in a circle on top. Decorate it with marigold flowers and pipe some of the gel in between. Finally, also add some of the blondie. Now take a chocolate galette and pipe some gel on top. Then add a couple of meringues and also add a couple big chunks of the crumble and the chocolate curls. Now pipe some passion fruit cream in between and decorate those with the marigold flowers. Then finish the dessert with the porn star martini sorbet and gently place the chocolate galette on top. Just look at that beauty. Okay guys, that's it for today. The dessert looks amazing. It really has all the beautiful, vibrant colors of a porn star martini. And that in combination with the white of the little foam that's always on top, I think that's, a, that's really a great combination. You see all the layers. It's almost like a, like a little trifle. And with those garnishes on top, it looks, yeah, it looks amazing. Um, so super happy with that. I think the flavors are gonna be so, so nice as well. I really love the fresh and the sourness of the of the passion fruit in combination with the champagne, the vanilla, and that little almond. Of course, there is no almond in a passion fruit uh, or in a porn star martini, sorry. Uh, but I still think it's gonna match great, and it's just it just brings that little nuttiness, which will bring so much balance in the dessert and so much texture. So let's dig in. Yeah, that's so good. It's so delicious. It has some texture from the crumbles and from the meringue, which is really, really nice. And it has a lot of freshness as well. It's sour from the passion fruit, a little bit of from the champagne as well, but there is enough sweetness to balance out everything, which is lovely because I love fresh desserts that are not too sweet. Also love savory desserts, but this is amazing. It's super, super good. Both texture, both in flavor, also in temperature and the looks spot on. So guys, I think this is a great dessert for my first cocktail inspired uh, dessert series. Let me know in the comments on what cocktail I should do next. Maybe you can also start thinking about a savory one, but for now I'm gonna stick with the sweet desserts. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you wanna see next like and share the video and please subscribe to my channel if you want to get more great recipes and if you want to support my channel and as always what a